What is going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I think we finally figured out what weapon mods are within Destiny 2 so I decided to make a video on them explaining what I think they could be to you guys but before we go any further if you guys do enjoy the video leaving a like is much appreciated on my behalf thank you very much. Okay so I've already made a video on these weapon mods and talking about what I believe they could be in that video I spoke of how weapons within Destiny 2 are going to be well more balanced across the board and that perfect rolled OP weapon will be a thing of the past. I spoke of weapons having basic perks as of standard and how these weapon mods will be one of a few other perks you can unlock and apply to that very weapon. Now the logic behind what I'll show you guys in this video is the same as I spoke about in my previous weapon mods video but instead of perks that you will unlock and apply to your weapon it might just actually be attachments as in grip for better stability as in a sight for better target acquisition as in a red dot for better hit fire accuracy and so on. Now in my previous weapon mod video I spoke of how having these mods interchangeable is a great thing for two reasons within Destiny 2. It doubles the grind for that best possible rolled weapon and it saves you a ton of space within your vault. If you're confused let me explain. Ok so let's say you have the 1000 yard stare. On this weapon you have the weapon mod slot which any perk you can apply to snipers can be applied to this slot and like ornaments you can switch between each mod but only use one at a time. So if you have the 1000 yard stare with the weapon mods unflinching and firefly you can switch between the two for certain circumstances. If you are playing PvP you can apply the unflinching mod. If you are playing PvE you can apply the firefly mod. Why have two snipers in your vault when you can have one sniper which does both jobs? Now although in my previous video I said that they would be perks which we would unlock and apply to these weapon mod slots, I actually now believe they're going to be something completely different, actual weapon attachments. This actually makes much more sense. Now the reason behind me stating this came from a guy I follow on Twitter. And as always guys I give credit where credit is due so a big shout out to Handsome Dragon. He noticed something very interesting indeed. He noticed in a clip Bungie shared via Twitter a clip we have seen before and in this clip we see a guardian running with what's arguably an exotic grenade launcher but what's interesting here is notice what's beaming off the front it's a damn laser i.e. a laser sight which could improve hit fire making sense for a mod which you would apply to a grenade launcher. Now if this was the case for weapon mods which in my opinion makes more sense do you think these mods would be indeed changeable? I have a feeling that each weapon type will have a certain set of mods which you can grind for and apply to that said weapon type. Let's take SMGs for instance. I believe SMGs will have a set of weapon mods you can apply to them. A laser sight, a grip, different sights or scopes, different mag types which may affect reload. I believe these will be unlockable through other means and can be applied to any SMG you have in your inventory. Whether or not one or more can be applied at once is unknown yet. I'd say though no, I believe only one will be allowed to be used at any one time. I do think though you will be able to switch between them like you do with ornaments now within Destiny 1. I think that definitely makes sense. So you having an SMG with say 4 weapon mods on it but you can only use one mod at a time that make a lot more sense in my opinion and I think they may just do that which I think is great and a nice new addition to the customization within the game and it's definitely welcomed by me but how about you? Do you think this will be the case with weapon mods? If so let me know. If not and you think there will be something completely different let me know what you think they will be down below in that comment section. Now a bigger question with these actual weapon mods is will you be able to customise your exotic weapons with these weapon mods? Now the clip we saw in the video, I mean everybody who's seen that weapon, that grenade launcher thinks it's going to be an exotic weapon. I mean just the way they showcase it within actual trailers when they start speaking about exotics they show this weapon, this grenade launcher and with it having that laser beam sticking off the front of it pointing towards the direction of a laser sight attachment to this exotic weapon it seems as though that will be the case maybe with exotics you have extra mod slots who knows or maybe even you get bonus attachments to apply to these weapon slots on your exotic weapons what do you guys think about that 
Now it is all just speculation at this precise moment in time. Maybe, just maybe, we'll find out more about these come E3 when they showcase more of the game. But until then, it is all just speculation. But let me know what you think about what I've covered in this video today, guys. If you did enjoy the video, leave it a like is much appreciated on my behalf. If you are new around here and enjoy what you see, make sure you subscribe. If you're already a subscriber and you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications of when I do upload a video to YouTube. If you want to interact with me on other social media sites uh, such as Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, links to all three of them are in the video description. But thanks as always for stopping by people and I will see you on that next one. Always in the wrong